director, planner, and scenario writer of the Metal Gear Acid series at Metal Gear Acid 1 and 2. So Metal Gear Acid 2 is a new, kind of new form of Metal Gear games where you're using cards instead of just action-based gameplay. And of course, story elements are included, just like mo like most uh, Metal Gear games, as well as bosses where you fight. So there's Metal Gear elements as well as original elements, which is this card-based kind of strategy gameplay. This time we're including 10 new cards. Uh, six cards are from the MGS4 trailer. They're included from that we've kind of taken some images from the trailer, including like an old Solid Snake and old Otacon and the Gecko, the new kind of Metal Gear. Basically, I took all the, comp the complaints from the Acid 1. I, I know it's not a perfect game. And so with Acid 2, I looked at that list. Before making the game, I took that list of all these complaints, and I addressed all of them, and tried to make a much more fluid game that's much more fun to play. The 3D peripheral that attaches to the PSP, it really brings out these 3D graphics. And they're not polygons, but they're 3D images. And the, the peripheral that comes packaged with an MGA2, it doesn't, it's not like these red and like, you know, these kind of red and blue goggles. It's like, you know, 3D, all full, full color images that pop out. Especially the MGS4 trailer that you can watch in 3D is really exciting. Uh, in my personal opinion, it's, it's much better than the high-res version of the trailer. It's, seeing the MGS4 trailer in 3D is, is, is superior in my opinion. And so what we've done is we've included the, the goggles into the MGA2 packaging. And the, you know, we're including the special feature and the price isn't even going up at all. It's, just, it's a normal price of a PSP. You know, a new title, so it's kind of a gift to users. So in the story mode of the game, you can collect different cards, and you know you get rare cards, and certain rare cards will unlock videos that you can watch in the Solid Eye Theater. And included in that Solid Eye Theater is uh, videos of sexy girls, you know, doing a variety of things in 3D that you can see in 3D. When I first design, designed the 3D gra glasses, I was trying to think of myself, what, what would I want to see in 3D? And it was, hey, I'm director, I could choose this. I'm putting, I'm putting you know, bikini girls in there and watch them come up in 3D. It's kind of this par paradox because the most exciting thing of Acid 2 is something I can't really show you. It's the 3D, 3D images. You can't put that on a video. You have to actually play it for yourself. So really want users to try it out and, and experience the 3D graphics for yourself coming out of the PSP. And of course, the price doesn't go up at all. And lastly, the story. I have a lot of confidence in the story this time. I think we did a really great job in bringing this kind of new, new narrative to, to Metal Gear. As of right now, I'm just finishing up Acid 2, all the localization. So I'm thinking about Acid 2 right now. But as for Acid 3, I don't know, let me, let me just wrap up Acid 2 first and then I'll start thinking about my next project. It's coming out on the PSP platform on March 28th. Please look forward to it.